Happy Father's Day from the Scoville unit to all of the fathers out there. I hope you guys have a great day. What's up guys, Christopher Gala here with the Scoville unit. <clears throat> Today I want to share something special with you. I've been trying to get involved with this uh, restaurant for a couple months now, but the pandemic made it a little hard. They're officially open again. Uh, here in Avoca, PA slash Durier, there is a restaurant called the Town Tavern that's very well known around this area for their wings. Today, I got my hands on their hottest sauce, the Screamer, uh, 10 wings. So I'm gonna taste test these bad boys. And give a rating on them uh, and I also got some of their tomato our fresh tomato and garlic pizza so we're gonna work out that too so let me uh, get a wing all lathered up here with some sauce that's a big old wing right there get this lathered up throw it on there another one around that lathered up and throw it on there these are very hot to the touch burning my hand All right, so this is their Screamer sauce. Uh, never had it before. I'm gonna try it out now. They do sell their sauces in bottles. Uh, I did speak to one of the owners. I'm going to try to get in there to do a live from their establishment. Uh, test out, I think they have, I wanna guess they're around 30 some different wing sauces. This is their hottest though, so I'm gonna give it a try here. All right, Screaming Sauce from Town Tavern. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Their wings are delicious. Mm. Sorry if you hear me chopping in the background. Miss Scoville on the, on the camera here. Not much heat to this at all. Um, it's very, very, very good though. Very good flavor. What do you think kind of peppers it is? Mm. Honestly, I can't tell. I can't. They use a lot of seasoning. I can't tell. Would it be spicy to someone new? Yeah, normally. I think this is a very low heat level, to be honest with you. Uh, I wouldn't even rank this as a two. I'd probably say this is between a one and a two. Rod heat level. Uh, flavor level, uh, I'm definitely sold on it. Very, very delicious. Tons of flavor. Uh, that's, that's one thing. You could have a sauce that's extremely hot. You could burn the hell out of someone's mouth, but you still want to be able to enjoy the flavor and the taste of it. So, an overall um, flavor, I'd say an eight, heat a one. Uh, but now we're going to get into the pizza side of this. I wish I had paper towels. Give me one second, I'm going to grab paper towels. And we're back. All right, so. For their pizza, it's fresh garlic and tomato. Uh, this is a very, very big favorite of mine. Not specifically the pizza, the type of pizza that they make, but fresh garlic and tomato pizza is one of my favorites. We're gonna spice it up a little bit here. Uh, I grabbed two sauces out of the cupboard, out of my 170 some. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out Smokin' Ed's Scotch Bonnet Blend Hot Sauce. And hot ones last dab. So I'm gonna heat these up a little bit here. Oh yeah. This is a very, very thick sauce. From hot ones, this is a 10 out of 10 on their heat scale. This is the last dab single pepper series. Remixes the spe uh, spiciest hot peppers 
uh, on hot ones, placing Pepper X with some other heavyweights on the Chili World, uh, Smoking Ed's Curry's famous Carolina Reapers, on all of its blazing glory, tamed only by a zing blend of mustard, ginger, and turmeric. And then that smoke. stuff made me cry. <sighs> That's the stuff that gave Miss Scully you know, her first round of cap cramps. Smoking Ed Scotch Bonnet. I've actually had this before. I didn't have it on pizza though, so I'm very excited to try it on the pizza. Let's mix this bad boy in a little bit. Sorry for the background appearance. We're not fully moved in yet. It went down the, the wrong pipe. Why is my nose itchy? Holy crap. Right. So we'll do the scotch bonnet first. Uh, this is scotch bonnet pepper uh, pepper mesh, distilled vinegar, and thion gum. Did I say thion? I got it. Exam. I don't know. Exanthium. Exanthium. I don't know why I said thion. Mm. Mm. It's a very good pizza sauce. I wonder if my dad would like their pizza. I like it. Put garlic on anything. My dad is a pizza master. If it's not good, he'll tell you. I wouldn't call him a pizza master. He's a pizza connoisseur. Yeah, that. But his taste is so different. He's a french fry master though. Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. No one makes that man's french fries as good as him. Now, he did not like Sabatini's, which I was very surprised. Sabatini's is a fan favorite on this area. I love Sabatini's. Yes, pizza. let's out my dad on national YouTube for not liking that. <laughs> a, lo a lot of people think their sauce is weird because it's sweet. I do like their sauce. Alright. So yeah, the scotch bonnet is very good. Not a lot of heat at all. Very vinegary. I like it. It's a great pizza sauce. Now, hot ones. First we feast presents hot ones. The last dab. Mm. That looks like some Dylan from late from work ate on him and I's live. He ate this like chili stuff out of a can and I'm like, oh. I think I picked man. it. No, no. It was like chili dog stuff. Mm. I, judged, I judged him harshly. So this is literally just mushed up peppers. It's very good. Very, very good. Mm. It doesn't have a lot of flavor because it is just peppers but I got something to say it's a good additive sauce to make something really hot okay so from a distance do those not look like tacos to you this whole time I thought they were tacos from a distance pucker butts emblem no down here he indexed the tacos the same thing as their emblem look you know what I thought they were tacos I'm about to start we went to Pucker Butt with today's adventure, and I got me a bunch of um, those. What are those, Katie Bars? Fire pig. Yeah, and I have to send one out to Sean. We're like so backed up because of moving and everything, but we're getting settled in. But uh, oh, Sean is from Cheats Day Eats Productions. Cheat Day Eats Productions. Yeah, I, I congested people. Oh, the point of that. So when I ate one of his bars this morning, I could actually taste. Mm. Well, I'm happy. This is my father's day. Well, my dog father's day. <laughs> Your yeah. father. Mm. Cause doggies are hoobins too. So Ours are anyway. And we judge people who don't think that there's. Don't like animals. Yeah, I don't like people that don't like animals. Well, guys, I want to thank you for being a part of this review. 
Uh, if you're ever in Northeast PA, if you're not from the area, please check out Town Tavern. They are a local fan favorite. Get and well check there. us out. Yeah, come give us a visit. We're only uh, two minutes away. Yeah, we're only two minutes away from the uh, from Town Tavern. So if you're ever around Town Tavern and you're traveling, you hit us up on Facebook at the Scoville Unit. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, and share both the Facebook and YouTube page. Uh, and always, guys, I'm Chris Fergali and I'm a Scoville Unit. This is where the topics are hot and the hot sauces are even hotter. Have a good one, guys. Okay, go ahead. Let's go the unit! <laughs> The Scoville Unit is proud to announce that it will be hosting the annual Brianna Smarkuski Memorial Scholarship Fund. On January 12, 2017, Brianna unexpectedly passed away from a pulmonary embolism. Brianna was a resident of Nicholson, Pennsylvania and was a graduate of Wilkes University. She was involved in the pre-med group where she helped raise awareness for Alzheimer's and helped the biology club with education about animals. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in biology. When she finished, she planned on attending grad school to become an optometrist. Donations will be accepted through Venmo at the Scoville Unit, PayPal at Scoville Unit. Goal is $2,500. Thank you for any donations that you can put forward. God bless you all. This video is brought to you by IntelliGreen. Safe today, bright tomorrow. Protect your space with the IntelliGreen Entry Management Product Family. Check them out at IntelliGreen.net or on Facebook at IntelliGreen, and by using the promo code Scoville Unit, you could save 10% off of your first purchase. And by Sanity Check Ventures, an experienced business process outsourcing company, specializing in purchasing, engineering, project management, and project financing. Check them out at SanityCheckVentures.com. And by DreamWorks Backyards. It's time to think the world of your backyard. Check them out at DreamWorksBackyard.com and reach out to their first class sales team at 570 540 0810 and tell them the Scoville unit sent you.